Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you a new and improved method on how to access skew for the perfect access skew without having to do these gamble turnarounds, these coin flip turnarounds, uh, turnaround frame one jumps. You'll notice that it is slightly difficult to hit the correct frame to get these access skews, which is what we've been having to do for a very long time, uh, ever since the method was discovered. And it caused a lot of stress on unrestricted runners if they were heading to Hanubia on like a really strong pace and they had to depend on hitting these to win. And when you're nervous like that, this can be really difficult. But thankfully, B-Dog came up with a new method that not only makes this easy and consistent, but also makes it uh, have insurance. So what I mean by that is before these turn, uh, before these skews, you would have to do turnarounds like this. You would have to do roughly 80 to 150 to 200, however many you wanted to do. And then you would need to hit the correct frame. If you missed it, you had to morph and then turn around and do it again. Now, once you do the turnarounds with the new method, what you're looking to do is pause and then get used to this motion, which is to press B and pause one frame apart in order. That way you can essentially frame advance your game. Once you get used to doing this, then what you do is you pause, hold the opposite direction of where you're facing, and then frame advance. Once you hit the correct frame, which I'll show you later, then you reverse your inputs and press B, uh, press pause into B instead of B into pause. And done correctly, you'll skew on the perfect frame. Now, what's important about this is that after you've done your turnarounds, let's say you go for this method and you miss the correct frame, you can pause or unpause and then just try again. This way you can retain your turnarounds per attempt. And that's why this method is really powerful. Even though your pause buffers will eat up time, it's much more preferable to lose maybe 6 or 8 seconds across all wall clips, just so you can make sure you get them all correctly. Because, trust me, records are not going to be spent and uh, decided based on this of all things. What matters more is that we're getting every wall clip perfectly. That's essentially the entire method. Now, for the frames that you're looking for, you can either do it going right to left, like so, or you can do it left to right, like so, depending on which way you need to go, as you can see here. The frames you're looking for are these. So for the left side on the picture, this, uh, that's for the right to left version if you want to wall clip towards the right. For the right picture, it's the left to right version if you're looking to wall clip towards the left. And then once you practice these plus the pause buffers, you should find a marked improvement in your ability to get these skews for wall clips. Plus, you'll be feeling a lot safer because of the insurance package that comes with this method. Once you practice this, I hope you can apply it in your runs and just go fast. We can finally play this route without having to worry about all these wall clips anymore. So good luck to all of you.